Underwater fishing lights have become really popular, not only to attract fish for fishing, but they also emit a beautiful waterfront glow. Let's make one for cheap. To make your very own glowing fishing light for far less than you can buy one, you're going to need quite a few things which I'll describe as we get to them in this project. To start off with, we'll be using two different types and sizes of PVC pipe. The first one is 1 inch regular white PVC pipe, and I'm going to cut a piece about 12 inches long. And I'll be using some clear PVC pipe. I had this left over from a potato launcher I built. This is one and a half inches in diameter. And we're gonna cut this at 12 inches as well. Both pieces are cut. Now it's time to work on the white piece of PVC. We need to drill a small hole about an inch from one end. So I'm using a 5 30 seconds inch bit and I'll drill a small hole right there on the end of this piece of pipe. This is where we'll be feeding the leads for our LED strip, which in my case is a super bright 5 meter, 150 LED waterproof light strip. Now if you want to pick this up, there's a link in the description for the exact one I'm using for this project. Now this has a removable sticky back, which I'm going to remove and start winding around the 1 inch piece of PVC. I'm really taking my time because I want it to be nice and flush with each loop as I go around. Keep wrapping until you've completely filled up this one inch piece of pipe. Now when you get to the end, all you need to do is take a pair of snips and cut the end of the LED strip. Now we've got the start of our LED light tube. Looks pretty cool so far. I found a threaded plug that fits snugly inside this one inch piece of PVC. This does not need to be waterproof, just needs to be secure. So using a mallet, I'll pound it in and make it flush. I went to my tackle box and found a few of these larger size weights and I'm going to drop them inside the tube one by one. Some of them are very tight fitting, but that's good. So we want this to be heavy so that it'll sink. Then I'll be drilling a small hole in another cap that I have that'll go on the other end of this tube. I'll carefully feed the two leads coming off of my LED strip through the hole in this plug and then pound this plug in as well. Now the last step is taking some super glue and I applied it to the very end of this last piece of strip. I want to make sure this doesn't unwind. Okay, our LED light tube is complete. Now it's time to get to the housing. This one and a half inch of clear PVC pipe is what our LED tube is going to glow through and go through. So I'll be using two one and a half inch caps on both ends of this housing. I'll use some purple primer on the outside of the pipe and purple primer on the inside of the cap. And before that dries, I'll use the cement on the outside of the pipe and on the inside of the cap and secure the cap to the pipe and give it a little twist. This will ensure that our housing is waterproof. Now the second cap needs to have a hole drilled through it that will feed our extension cord through. So taking a starter bit, I ran a hole through the center of this cap and then a little bit of a larger bit through the hole once again. This cap is ready. Now we'll feed our long extension cord through the outside of this cap and to prevent any chance of this cord pulling through, I'm going to tie an electrician's knot in the end. Now there's no way this cord will ever pull through that hole. While I was at it, I went ahead and stripped both ends of this cord. Now the AC adapter I'm using is a 12 volt 800 milliamp wall wart. And since we won't be using the plug on this, I'll clip that off. And I'll strip those two wires as well. Now it's time to get out the soldering station and put this together. Even though these connections are going to be waterproof, I'm still going to use some heat shrink tubing out of habit and to make it look good on this first connection between the LED strip and our extension cord. Now it's time to tin the wires and go ahead and make these two solder connections, slide up our heat shrink tubing and use a little heat to secure those in place. Okay, our LED tube is ready to be inserted in the housing and I'll go ahead and do that. You can see it's a snug fit. Those LEDs just fit in nice and tight, which was what we want because we really don't want this tube moving around in the housing. Now it's time to secure this last cap. Again, we'll be using some primer on the outside of the pipe, primer on the inside of the cap, and then cement on the outside of the pipe and cement on the inside of the cap and we'll secure the cap to our housing. One last set of solder connections, and that's between our AC adapter and our extension cord. 
Heat shrink tubing is good here because this connection will be out in the elements. One final step to make this completely waterproof and that's using this silicone adhesive. I'll put a generous amount around this extension cord and the hole that it's going through and let it harden overnight. Our homemade glowing fishing light is done and now it's time to drop it in the water and test it out. Wow, it is bright and soon it'll be attracting fish. Plus, you and I have saved hundreds of dollars by making one ourselves. You could even use this glowing light to illuminate an entire pool. So that's how to make our own glowing fishing light. I'd love to hear your opinion on what other uses you could think of for this cool glowing waterproof light. And if you decide to make one, I'd love to see that too. Oh, and you know, speaking of opinions, here on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. But did you know that you can actually share your opinion and earn cash? That's right, you can earn cash and gift cards by sharing your opinions and you can even take paid surveys for the chance to win $10,000. It's all through Opinion Outpost. Now they're sponsoring this week's show and helping me make videos for you, so I'm sharing with you how you can make some cash with your opinion. It's free to sign up, easy to use, and you can start taking surveys to earn rewards right away. Hey, you don't keep your thoughts to yourself here on my videos, so why not share them in paid surveys from Opinion Outpost? Now go to opinionoutpost.com slash kipk or click the link in the description and join the club today. That's opinionoutpost.com slash kipk. There's also a link in the description. Check it out. Get paid to share your opinion and by doing so, you're helping me make more videos for you. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you next time.